this is going to be a video on how to make a website from um, the very scratch. Uh, I did a video recently for the students over summer how to um, build a website quickly using Everweb and put a few key things together. I'm going to do it from absolute scratch from a blank page. Um, what we need is we need brackets. So we're going to start by using the program brackets and we're going to write our HTML in that, in that program. The first thing you want to do is you want to create a folder on your desktop. So you could either go um, file new folder, right? Command shift N is, N is the same, um, the keystrokes to do it. I've got a new folder here and I'm going to call this, let's call it video website. So it's a website that I'm going to make for this video. So inside that folder, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a couple of um, pictures because I know on my website I want to put some pictures on. So I went onto the interweb and I downloaded two pictures of some cars. There's a picture of a Mercedes there. It's a low resolution, small little picture of a green Mercedes. And then there's a high resolution, bigger picture, um, which I got off Google and I just did um, search for a bigger size image and it's a high res picture. And then I've also got the picture of a road background. So the first thing I'm going to do in that new folder is I'm going to put those three files into the folder. So this is going to be where my assets, these are called assets because they're going to be on the web page. They're going to be stored in my video website folder. Now I'm going to go down to brackets and I'm going to start brackets up. And you can download brackets off the internet for nothing, it's free. Um, it's a really good program, really recommend it. So in brackets we go file new and we could start writing code straight away. However, if you write straight away now, brackets doesn't know what type of file you're going to, to produce. So it won't help you because you can write lots of different, you can write programming, you can write lots of different things in here. So brackets really needs to know what sort of file you're going to make. So I'm going to say file save as. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to go to my video website folder and I'm going to call this website index.html. Now I'm calling it index because the first web page on any web page, any group of web pages you go to is always called index. It's like the home page is called index. I put the HTML um, uh, name at the end so that brackets knows what type of file it is and so internet browsers know what type of file it is. So HTML is hypertext markup language. So this is not programming, this is a markup language for writing web pages. So now you can see in um, brackets, we have index.html over here. There's a little cross there because my mouse is over it. If you move off that, the cross goes away. If you ever see a dot on there, the dot means that the file hasn't been saved and you need to save pretty regularly. All right, now, the way websites work is they always work, well, 90% of the time, the, the elements that you put in work in pairs. So if I'm going to start an HTML document, I want to write the word HTML. And as I close this bracket here, you'll see its pair comes up. It's an open and a close. So for example, HTML is the open, and then the backslash HTML, that's the close of this section here. So that's going to be my whole website. So I'm going to put a couple of returns in between that. And the website is made up of two main sections, okay? So the first main section is the head, which I'm going to open and close. And look, there's the, there's the pair that goes with it. And then under the head we have, which kind of makes sense, the body. Okay, and it has a pair, so I'm going to put that down there. Now, the head and the body are kind of do two different things, right? Same as a human head and body, I suppose. The head is where you can store all the information that you might want the file to do. So you could store in here some styling. You could store in here links to other pages. If you're adding CSS, you can link to a, to a CSS page. Um, for those not knowing what CSS is, it's cascading style sheets. It's, it's to put style into the website to, for the look and the feel of it. You can put that link in there. You could put some JavaScript or some link to a JavaScript. Um, if you're going to put PHP in, you'd probably put that above the HTML. But um, the head's where all the thinking of the file goes on. And the body is where, logically, um, everything that it looks like, like the, the, what, the color, like the way the, pa the page looks, where the text is, where the heading is, where the, the pitch is placed on the page and that, that all kind of goes into the body. And, and the two work together. Obviously, some of the stuff that happens in the head section influences what happens in the body, right? So, and if you're doing forms, what happens in the body can be influencing what happens in the head. So the two work together. But the key here is that, that we're doing things in pairs, HTML, 
open and close, head open and close, body open and close. Right, and you'll see that over on the left hand side, my dot has appeared because I haven't saved, so I'm going to hit Command S and I'm going to save that. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to put a title on my page. So I open my bracket and I put the word title and I close my bracket and you'll see it worked as a pair again. So there's my pair of tiles open and close. This time I'm not going to put gaps in. I'm going to call this um, my website and I'm going to hit Command S, which is save. Now, this is a title. It is not anything that you will see on the screen in terms of um, the website itself on the page. You won't see that. I'll show you what this is in a minute. Now, if you want to preview out of brackets, there's a button here, a little lightning bolt here. If you click that, that should take you to a live preview on one of your web browsers. Um, if it doesn't work, you can go up here to file and just make sure you turn off this enable experimental live preview and just leave it at normal live preview. That's one thing you can do to make it work. Um, it may ask you for Google Chrome if you haven't got that in, so, but I've got it. So I'm just going to press it and click my button and you'll see that the preview page um, starts to come up. Ta-da, there it is. Now, you'll notice there's nothing on the page, which is exactly what I said, there's nothing there. When I put my website in, that comes up on the tab, that's the title up there on the website. It's nothing to do with what's on the page, it's got to do with what's on the, the tab, that's where the title goes. So I'm just gonna leave that open in the background and as I do things in brackets, hopefully it'll update on here. Now, I do wanna put a heading in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go into the body section because I want the, the heading to appear on the page. And I'm going to push H1. So H1, and you'll see it closes again, means heading style one. It's a preset HTML heading. Um, and I'm just going to write in here, this is a heading. And I hit Command S. And if I go over my page here, you'll see there's my heading. It's come in. This is a heading. Now, H1 is one style of heading. But there are six of them. So I could go down and hit Return. Command V, paste, hit, I copied, so I copied and paste. I'm going to copy and paste six times, or so five times, so that you'll have six in total, and you'll see what happens. Right, so I'm going to change this one to a two, so I have to change its close to a two. I'm going to change this version to a three, this one to a three, this here to a four, this to a four, this to a five, this to a five, this to a six and this to a six. So there's six main types of heading headings that come with um, HTML. If you go to seven, it just goes to normal text. It doesn't continue being a heading. These are specifically heading types. Save that, go back to my page, and you can see the headings get smaller in width and smaller in font size. Okay, so font size makes it go smaller overall. So these are all headings, okay? You can choose whichever one of these headings you like. You could make your own heading a different way. This is just the first initial way so that you understand how it works. Okay, now I want to put some text in. So I'm going to create a paragraph. So I do um, my brackets again, just a lowercase p, close my brackets. You'll see there's partner, and all of a sudden I've got a paragraph. Now in this paragraph, you can write whatever you want. This is a paragraph of writing. We'll stop now. I'm going to highlight, in fact, I've got a space. I'm going to highlight all of that. And I'm just going to copy and paste that a few times to show you that it could be a paragraph of writing. There we go. And I'm just going to pull my P back a little bit. I don't need that blank white space. White space doesn't do anything. I just want to get rid of it. Hit Command S, go down to here. Now you can see the difference between the headings and the paragraph. You can see the font is different. This is a standard font. Excuse me, we can style the font. We can change things around, but this is just the basic structure of how our website is starting to look. Now, I said to you earlier that um, we can put some information in the head which influences the body. So we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna put some style in here. Now, you can do style in two different places. You can really do it in here, in the actual program, or you could do style sheets and put a link in here that links to a separate file. For the purpose of this, we're gonna do our style here. Now, the first thing I want to do is I look at my page. I think, okay, this is boring. So I would like to change the background color. I'd like to change this first headings color. And I might change this writing down here. I want to add some style to this. So up here, I'm going to have a look at this section here. And I'm going to say, okay, I might look at maybe the body. I'll choose the body. So, so to inside the style brackets, I write the word body. I put some curly brackets. So on a Mac, 
on our European Macs, it's um, Command, sorry, it's not, it's Shift Option and then the square braces will give you these curly brackets if you're holding down Shift Option, or it might be Shift Alt on your keyboard and then the square brackets and these curly ones will come up, right? So once you've done that, you inside the brackets, again, a pair of brackets, inside the brackets, you're gonna write what you wanna do. So I'm gonna change the background color. Now, again, this is where brackets helps you out because it knows some of the words and it helps you put a word in there. I'm gonna make my background color green. So I'm just going to write green, and then I have to put a semicolon at the end. Now, it's good practice to get used to putting the semicolon in, because later if you forget it, it can wreck your whole page. So I've done my background color. That's the first thing I want to do. Now, I also want to change this H1 heading. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to do another one. I'm going to call it H1. I'm going to do the same curly brackets, and I'm going to this time put color, which is going to change my font color, colon, and I'm going to do my font color as maybe a light green. Light green. Semicolon. And so I'm going to change my H1 font color. Now I also want to change the paragraph. So I'm going to do P, curly brackets. And I'm going to do color. Now I'm going to make a mistake here on purpose to show you. And I'm going to call the color um, yellow. Mm, orange. Okay, now I've intentionally made a mistake here, and when you have mistakes in brackets, they come up red, all right? So if you see something red in your type section here, and it, you know that you've made a mistake. Now, one of the things with brackets and with um, HTML and with the website is that it uses American spelling, right? Now, um, I know we're from an English school and to use correct English would be C-O-L-O-U-R. However, it's American English, so it has to actually be C-O-L-O-R for that to work. So therefore, that came up as an error. So I've made those changes. So we should have background color green, heading color light green, and the color of this text actually orange. And if you see that, if you hold your mouse over it, it'll preview the colors. You can actually use um, uh, web colors, hexadecimal colors, if you need to put them in here, you know, with the hash and the different numbers, you can do that. I'm just gonna use the words. So I hit Command S to save, and let's have a quick look, and you'll see my light green headings come in, my paragraphs in orange, I've got a green background, so I'm starting to do the style. Now I wanna add an image, so I'm gonna go down the bottom here, and you guessed it, it's going to be image, right? So I do a bracket, IMG. Now, this one is a little bit different from all the others. All the others I've been telling you are in pairs. For an image, you don't have to do it in pairs. You start the bracket and don't close it, and then you put SRC. Now, a lot of students in class put SCR. I don't know why they do that, they just do. It has to be SRC equals. You put two inverted commas, and then you close that um the bracket. Now, in here, you want to put the name of one of the files that you linked, that you put in your folder at the start. And if you know it, it should automatically come up. So I knew mine were Merck and Merck 2. So I just put M and the word Merck came in. So I want to choose this one and it writes Merck.jpg. And I've just added an image. Here's the source called Merck.jpg. It doesn't need any other links or folders or anything because I've put it right next to where I've saved my file. I hit Command S, go to my page, and there it is. So this is the starting of my web page. Now, one more thing I want to do is I want to make everything centered on the page. So what I can do, and this is one way, there's several ways to do it. What I can do on this one is I can go back up to my body because remember the body tag covers everything. It's going to, it's going to, if I make a change to the body, it's going to cover every single thing that's inside of it, right? So if I want to make a global change in this situation, I can go into here. Now, there again, there are lots of different ways to do this. This is the simplest way that I can show you how to do this. I'm going to do the words align and I'm going to align. Uh, so I'm going to do text align not a line, text a line. I'm going to tell it to go in the center and I'm going to put my semicolon at the end of it and I'm going to hit Command S. Now if I do that, it should have aligned every single thing on the page to the center, which it has. There's my headings all aligned in the center. There's my paragraph, which is aligned in the center and there's my image right there. Now, a lot of people ask me, how do I change the size of the image, All right. So if I want to change the image, I can go into my styles, I can do IMG, um, do my curly brackets, 
And then I should be able to go in here and do size or something like that. Okay, so um, width, it's not size I want to change, I want to change the width, right? So I can go into image, do my curly brackets, write the word width, put a colon, and then I can write however wide I want it to be. So I might do 300 pixels, which should actually make this image a bit bigger. Put my semicolon in, hit Command S, check out my page, let's hit refresh. Oh, so 300 pixels, I'm not sure if that changed it, so I might change that to 500 pixels. Image, IMG, IMG, Command S. Ah, oh, there we go, you can see the image has got a lot bigger, right? So, um, depending on the amount of pixels that you want to make it is will depend on how big you your image looks, okay? So, so that's what we can do. So we've done lots of things there. Now, um, we might also put... I don't know, um, a box around. We could put a box around this text if we wanted to do that. We could um, change the background to look like an image. We could do lots of different things. So I'm gonna do a couple of parts to this video. This first video was just a basic um, creating the web page and having it ready. So this is our first page here. We will start to add more items and fix this page and make it a lot better um, in the next video. What I will do is show you what I would like we're aiming at. I'll give you a final goal of what we're aiming at, right? So if I go to um, in here, I've, I've already created one a fair bit earlier, just to show you guys what the final task is going to look like. It's going to look like something like this, okay? Which is a full screen, high resolution image that can be scaled with a transparent box over the front that can be moved up and down. A logo without <clears throat> without any white box around or any of that sort of stuff. Um, a heading, and I've put in my own signature here. We've got some rollover buttons, and these things are hyperlinks. If I click on there, that goes to, I think it goes to Google. If I click on this one, I think it goes to Mercedes-Benz. So this is what we're gonna be aiming at over the course of the videos, is to get to this point here, so that you've made sort of a much better looking website. At this stage, at the end of the first video, this is where we're at, okay? So have a look at, keep your eyes out for the second video and you'll see building a website from scratch.